Welcome dear friend. In this video, we're going to show you the smartest ways to transfer files between your Android device and PC. First method requires USB cable that you generally use for charging. Next set of three methods requires internet connection. And last set of methods neither require cable nor internet. So please feel free to choose the method that's suitable for you. Without further ado let's get started. Method 1. USB Cable. Please go ahead and connect your Android device and PC with a USB cable. You may get these confirmations both on PC and Android device, please promptly watch and accept them. In your file explorer, somewhere over here, you should see an entry related to your Android device. Basically these are the contents of your Android device. Please navigate to the appropriate folder. You can now copy files from here to your PC. Not only that, you can also bring in new files to this folder from your PC. Some of you may need to scroll down on your Android notification area and choose appropriate option. Over here, this option is charge only and does not allow file transfer. So, ensure it's not selected. In case your USB connection is not recognized, you may need to install USB driver software. Please follow the troubleshooting video provided at the description below. Method 2. Google Drive. Please open File Explorer. Navigate to the place where you have the files to be transferred. Select the files. And tap on this share icon. Please choose Drive. If required, you can change the Google account and the folder here. Once done please go ahead and save. Let's quickly check the files at Google Drive. As you can see, these files are successfully uploaded. Now it's time to download them in your PC. Please open drive.google.com. Here you go. These files from my Android are now accessible from my PC. You can simply right click and download. If you want to transfer from PC to Android, please select this new button and use this file upload option. Method 3. WhatsApp Web. In your PC, please open web.whatsapp.com. Please follow these steps in your Android phone to scan this QR code. You can now download the files available in WhatsApp chats, as well as upload a new file from your PC and download the same at your Android device. Method 4. Email. Emails are accessible from both PC and Android. Attach the file to be transferred and send an email to your own email ID from one device and download it from another device. Method 5. File Manager App. Please create a new folder in your PC. Right-click and choose Properties. Please go to Sharing tab. Select Advanced Sharing. Enable Share This Folder. Choose Permissions. Now please go ahead and add the Windows user ID that you use for logging in. Enable full control. Click on apply and OK. Please place the files to be transferred inside this shared folder. Let's now go to the Android device. 
For this you would need a file manager with network capabilities. File Manager Plus works well for this case. Please install the same from Play Store. I have already installed, so let me select Open. Select Remote. Add a remote location. Please select Local Network. This should automatically discover your PC. Please select the same. Over here you should use the username and password that you use for logging in. If you don't use password for logging in, please check the troubleshooting steps provided at the end. Go ahead and choose the folder that we created some time back in PC. Finally, we could access the files in the PC directly on your mobile. You can also place the files from mobile and access it from PC. Method 6. File Sharing App. In your PC, please open snapdrop.net. Let this be open, please go to Android device. Please install Snapdrop for Android in your Android phone. Once installed, please open. As you can see this has already connected to PC automatically. You can initiate file transfer to your PC by selecting this icon over here. Please accept and save the file on your PC. Similarly, you can initiate file transfer from your PC to Android by choosing this icon in your PC. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please add your comments below, I'll respond to you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done already. Thank you so much for watching.